Um, so who wants to go next? Oh, me, me. Georgia, you submitted Edward Longshank's Hammer of the Scots? Um, I didn't read that. Why not? Well, I thought it was a mistake. Like, she's not even in this group. I don't know who she is. I'm Georgia Greenfield. I'm like the head writer of the Messenger speech. I transferred in this week. Well, great. Now that that's cleared up, did anyone else not read it? Did anyone read it? Well, I applaud your decision in writing about one of the most boring possible topics, historical accounts of obscure British monarchs. I'm just not sure if it paid off, despite its super snappy title. <laughs> well, at least I'm not retreading the uh, much-tread ground of revenge tragedies. What? Revenge tragedies haven't been popular since, like, the 17th century. Okay, let's just reschedule your workshop for next week. Fine. Will, do you want to go next? Um, I thought it was neat, but if you're going to work with such dry subject matter, I, why not throw in a little magic realism? I mean, maybe King Edward could beat some witches that give him the idea that inmates gone. I meant, do you want to share your story next? Oh, good. Was that the sexist one? What? It's about how women should do whatever men tell them to do. It's funny, not sexist. I thought it was romantic. I mean, at the beginning of the story, everyone hates her, so he's really doing it for her own good. Yes, definitely for her own good. For the greater good, one might say. Let's try not to get too catty. Although I definitely read this as a little anti-women. And I'm curious to hear what you have to say about it, Will. Well, I thought you of all people would get it. What? It's all about people treating other people like property. The whole debacle with Palamon was my main inspiration. Case in point, Palamon may be save the cat in your story, but they're making a movie. People don't pay to see a dude sell his soul to the devil and then actually spend eternity in hell. That's what books are for. Hey, Chris, why don't you just think of that before rejecting Palamon's terms? Maybe your book is just too depressing. You rejected Palamon's terms? Um, this isn't class material, guys. Christina Marlowe, Too Shrewy for Hollywood, a memoir. Will you shut up? Who are you? What are you even doing here? I'm still kind of wondering that about you. I'm here because Marlowe values my opinion. <sighs> you are so... Okay, things are getting out of hand. You are ruining your career and the creative writing department. You cannot be serious. Look, I want to be a famous writer as much as anyone, but I still can't endorse this script. It's like they're letting Michael Bay adapt Sorrows of Young Werther. I don't know what you're talking about, and your hair is weird. Shake's weird. Shake's weird. Hmm. Out of class early. I realized I have better things to do today. We'll see what Tom Kidd does when everyone who reads the messenger's speech learns he's a fraud. So, like, 80 people. <laughs>